Wow, do you love Peppa Pig? We've got three books for Father's Day. Daddy's Pig's Old Chair, Jay Pig's Office and Nature Trail. If you like Peppa Pig and you want to know what happens, watch till the end and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to find even more awesome videos. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the stories. Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig's Office. Today is a special treat. Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy? Front. What do you do at your office all day? asked Peppa. Lots of fun things, replies Daddy Pig. We're here, he tells the children as they arrive at a very tall building. We have to go up in the lift, Daddy Pig tells the children. Can I press the button? Snort, asked Peppa excitedly. I think it's George's turn, replies Daddy Pig, picking up George. Press the top button please, George. The lift takes them to the top floor. Hello everyone, grunts Daddy Pig. Hello, says Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat. They work with Daddy Pig. I have two special visitors with me today. Pepper and George, says Daddy Pig. Hee hee hee, grunt. Let's begin a tour of the office, suggests Daddy Pig. My job is all about numbers and stamps, says Mr Rabbit. Wow, gasped the children. Pepper likes stamping paper. Ho ho, on with the tour. Next is Mrs. Cat's desk, explained Daddy Pig. Hello Pepper and George, says Mrs. Cat. My job is all about drawing shapes on a computer. Can I try? asked Pepper. It's George's turn, says Daddy Pig. It's your turn to work, George, says Pepper. <coughs> Snort, agrees George. Mrs Cat helps George to make lots and lots of blue triangles. Now we print the triangles out, Pepper cried. Hee <laughs> hee. The printer spits paper out everywhere. Do you want to see my desk? Daddy Pig asks. Yes, please, grunts, says Pepper. Daddy Pig's job is very important. Do you use stamps or a computer? asks Peppa. No, replies Daddy Pig. I use coloured pens. Peppa and George love colouring pens a lot. My goodness, five o'clock already, says Daddy Pig. It's time to go home. been doing my job very well, snorts Daddy Pig. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job, says Peppa. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job, but I like doing your job the best, Daddy. Peppa Pig, Nature Trail. Peppa and her family are going on a nature trail. Mummy Pig asked Daddy Pig not to forget the picnic. As if I would, Daddy Pig laughs. They head off along the trail with their map. Oh dear, Daddy Pig has left the picnic in the car. Mummy and Daddy Pig ask Peppa if she can see anything interesting in the forest. I don't see anything but boring trees, says Peppa. Then she looks really hard and finds some footprints on the ground. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them, says Mummy Pig. We will have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Peppa and George follow the footprints along the ground. It looks like 
They were made by a little bird, says Mummy Pig. Soon they come to the end of the footprints. The bird has flown up into that tree, says Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig gives Peppa some binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. Peppa can see one, two, three baby birds. They're eating worms, says Peppa. That's disgusting. George finds some more footprints. Daddy Pig says they belong to ants, which are collecting leaves to eat. I think it's time for lunch, says Mummy Pig. But Daddy Pig has left the picnic in the car. My map is wrong, begins Daddy Pig. We'll have to follow our own footprints back to the car. Suddenly, it starts to rain. It washes everyone's footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? asks Mummy Pig. Ducks love picnics, says Peppa. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic please? The ducks lead Peppa and her family back to their car. We're here! Thank you for your help, Mrs Duck, cries Peppa. I love picnics, says Daddy Pig. The ducks love picnics too. Quack, quack! And so do the birds, and so do the ants. Munch, munch. Everybody loves picnics, cries Peppa. Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig's old chair. The school book has a hole in it. We are going to have a jumble sale, announces Madame Gazelle. The money we will raise will pay for a new roof. Everybody has to bring something to sell. Why don't you give your uh -huh. old jack-in-the-box, Peppa, suggests Daddy Pig. Oh, okay, agrees Peppa. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What are you going to give? Daddy Pig is not sure. What about your sweaty <laughs> old chair, suggests Peppa helpfully. Very old and valuable, says Daddy Pig. Hehe, <laughs> says Mummy Pig. You found it on a rubbish tip. When Madame Gazelle arrives in her truck, Mummy Pig, Peppa and George give her everything to take to the jumble sale. Naughty Mummy Pig gives her Daddy Pig's squeaky chair too. Daddy Pig will never notice, she whispers to Peppa. It is the day of the jumble sale. There are lots of things to buy. Mummy Pig wants to buy some fruit and vegetables. Daddy Pig wants to buy a chocolate cake. Peppa, says Miss Rabbit, how about buying this chair? You can chop it up and use it for firewood. But Daddy says it's very old and worth lots of money, says Peppa. All Peppa's friends have given something to the jumble sale. Susie has given her nurse's outfit. Pedro has given his balloon. Danny Dog has given his car and Candy Cat has given her skipping rope. I will miss my Jack in the Box, sighs Peppa. I will miss playing at nurses, says Susie sadly. Peppa's friends all think they will miss their toys, so they buy them back again. Look what I bought, snorts Daddy Pig. It's an antique chair to match my old one. Oh, Daddy, Mummy Pig laughs. It matches your old one because it is your old one, 
snorts Peppa. But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it, says poor Daddy Pig. Fantastic news, says Madame Gazelle. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Everybody cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Hooroo, over and out, Grando Bomb.